Good morning, everyone. This one is going to be a little bit different. Excuse me if I'm going to be drifting off frame. However, the robot is holding the camera and it doesn't seem to be very good at its job. Ever since Apple's Vision Pro presentation, people have been wondering, could you potentially get their mechanic onto a different headset? And props to Thrill, Thrill did it first, but Thrill created his own app, something that I don't have the brain energy to do. I've tried game development before and it is just not my thing. So instead, we're going to be using an app that someone else created. Other companies and other people have tried. They've decided that, hey, this mechanic could potentially work well on other headsets with eye tracking. And in theory, it makes perfect sense. People loved it on Apple, so why not try bring it over to another headset? So that's exactly what we're doing today. We're taking that app and we're going to try using it on the Quest Pro. As some of you may know, or most of you for that matter, the Quest Pro has eye tracking. It's also got mouth tracking, but that eye tracking and mouth tracking isn't really being utilized to its full potential. And as a matter of fact, I think that is a slight understatement. It's pretty much not being utilized at all. Unless you're in Horizon or a very small amount of other apps, you probably won't be using it, which is a shame as I paid for it. Because I haven't been able to fully play around with the eye tracking on this headset, I don't really know how well it works. Will it be able to hold up to using it as a menu selector or is it just not good enough for that? Let's find out. Let me show you guys how you can get this app onto your headset in case you've got a Quest Pro, because yes, this is now available to the public. And after that, we're gonna try it out and see how well this thing truly works. Let's jump into it. Ah, shit. Now, most importantly, you will require developer mode enabled on your headset for this to work, as we are going to be sideloading an unofficial APK. All you have to do is follow that link I will have for you down in the description, which is a GitHub link to the Vision OS demo. Then you just click on it, download it, Make sure it saves to a place that you will remember, as you will need to find it in a couple of seconds. Fire up SideQuest on your computer, in case you don't have SideQuest on your computer yet, I will leave a link for that as well down in the description below, and plug your Quest Pro into your computer. So, powering on the headset, I'm now going to plug it into my computer, and it should show up in the top left of SideQuest, which, as you can see here, it has. Then, all you need to do is you click on this button right here, install APK file from folder on computer, go to your downloads, find the Vision OS demo APK that we downloaded earlier from GitHub, and double click on it. That should sideload the app to your Quest Pro. Okay, let's try this thing out. I'm actually quite excited to see how well this is going to work or if it is going to work. So to find the app that we just sideloaded, all you want to do is you want to go into all of your apps. You want to click on search. You want to go to all unknown sources, recent Vision OS demo. So here we are. This is the menu. It looks like the calibration may not actually be perfect. It doesn't entirely know where I'm looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to quit and I'm going to redo my eye tracking calibration. So start. It's really quick to calibrate the eye tracking in the Quest Pro. Okay, yeah, now it's really good. So right now, let's say I'm going to look at the home. There it is. Podcasts, notes, settings. So here you go. I can look at home and then I can pinch in order to open it. I can look at that there and I can then stare at the toggles and toggle them using nothing but eye tracking. So the eye tracking is actually really good. It can see a fair amount of what I'm looking at, and I can switch through the themes here depending on which one I look at. And all I'm doing is I'm tapping with my finger. You can see here I am doing literally nothing else with my finger to switch between these themes. And I can drag this in order to resize. So if I look right there, I can resize it down. If I look right there, I can resize it to the side. And it is, it's actually working really well. Now, it's not working 100% of the time. So sometimes it takes it a little while to uh, realize what I'm actually looking at. However, I do have to make this very clear. That could also be to do with my eyes. I'm sure tons of you have noticed in my videos that one of my eyes is sometimes, not always, 
kind of lazy. So that this could also have to do with uh, the way my eyes work. Might not necessarily be the Quest Pro's fault, but even with that, I am actually very happy with the way this works. See, right now I'm trying to go back into all apps and it's just, I have to open my eyes a lot wider. See, now I'm looking at the one, one higher than that. Does it work? Yes. Does it work well enough for me to want it as my main way of navigating my UI? No. Wow, I clamped that down way too hard. This is literally just a concept. This is probably why Meta doesn't have this implemented yet. The eye tracking inside their headset will not be 100% accurate for 100% of people. Again, this could just be my eyes doing some funny stuff and it not wanting to react 100% of the time, but I feel like to release something out into the wild, you kind of want it to work 100% of the time, especially if you're making it the main way to navigate your UI. But there you go. You can try it out yourself if you've got a Quest Pro using the links I will leave for you down below. And I do think it is a really cool experience. Yes, it does work. Actually, you know what? In case you want to try out Thrill's one, it's also super, super simple. You just jump into side quest and search for Thrill's eye track playground, side load. Now, what I want someone to make is, and we've had this done before, we've had custom app launchers on the Quest before. So what I'd love someone to make is an actual custom app launcher that actually launches the apps that we have on our headset using this. So Thrill's vision demo, adjust. So let's adjust it for clarity because it wants us to. Move your headset up, there we go. Placement is good. That's weird because it doesn't feel good up here. Move the lenses inward. Are you sure about that? You were telling me it was fine earlier. Oh, that's, that's, that's dope. That's dope. It has the Oculus logo when it turns on. <laughs> you can see here, all I'm doing is I am literally just tapping with my fingers to launch. So there's a scene in Ready Player One. I must say, Thrills one actually seems to work a little bit better. Now, it launches kind of images and stuff like that, but it still won't launch actual apps, which is a shame because I think there's a lot of potential. It would be really cool to have it just be entirely transparent, but honestly, props to Thrill for even making an app. I tried it so many times before, and you, could, you saw me tapping and all the icons were lighting up and everything. So I do think that it is a really cool concept. That's, that's what it is. If someone can make an actual Quest app launcher using eye tracking, I will be incredibly impressed as I can see a lot of people wanting to use a third party launcher for their unknown sources apps instead of using what the Quest has right now and using eye tracking for it. I do think that that would be really, really cool. However, this is all we have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that some of you will get to try this out as well in case you have the Quest Pro. And hopefully eye tracking is going to come to a lot more consumer headsets very soon, whether it's through accessories or through official means. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night. If you liked it, please do what you like. If you disliked it, I guess this one works too. But let me know why down below. Believe it or not, this is still actually not my house. I'm living with family as my new place is getting ready, essentially. So this isn't final and the lighting situation right now isn't ideal, but please stick with me as uh, we essentially fly through this and hopefully very soon, everything will be a lot more final. Thank you so, so much to all the lovely names going off to my right. Those guys are my Patreons and you guys are helping me out so much during this move. Honestly, much love. And as usual, if you want to be notified about content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. There is no escaping. You just, you, you can't escape this thing. You actually, you cannot escape it.